Did you know the highest price ever paid for a diamond was over 71 million US dollars? With that kind of money, you could buy more than 1,400 Rolls-Royce Phantoms, a luxury car only the ultra-wealthy usually dream of. But what makes a diamond a symbol of eternity isn't just the price tag. With a unique crystal structure and near-unbreakable hardness, diamonds are incredibly tough. More importantly, they were formed billions of years ago, deep underground, under the most extreme conditions nature can create. From raw rock pulled from the depths of the earth, each diamond goes through a tough transformation process, crushed, filtered, sorted, then cut, and polished with almost perfect precision. Every stone must pass strict quality checks before becoming a piece of jewelry or being used in high-tech industries. In this video, we'll explore the incredible journey of this special stone. From ordinary carbon atoms to the sparkling gem on your finger or a high-end item at the world's most exclusive auctions. The journey of a diamond is not only remarkable because of how it forms deep beneath the Earth's surface, but also because of how humans have given it meanings far beyond material value. A turning point came in 1947, when the De Beers company launched the iconic slogan, A Diamond is Forever. That advertising campaign didn't just succeed in marketing terms, it completely changed how the world perceived diamonds. The very idea of proposing with a diamond ring started here, then spread across the globe and became deeply embedded in popular culture for generations. Some wedding ring brands even introduced a unique policy. Each customer could only buy one ring in their lifetime. Can you guess which brand that was? Today, the meaning of diamonds continues to evolve, thanks to technological innovation. No longer limited to being mined from the earth, diamonds can now be grown from the ashes of loved ones who have passed away. Pioneering companies like Al Gordonza in Switzerland have developed HPHT technology to transform carbon from cremated remains into memorial diamonds. For many, this represents a deeply moving and elegant way to preserve a loved one's memory forever, where science and human emotion come together in one of the most beautiful forms nature can offer. Unlike the familiar sparkling image we often see, diamonds originate from an environment so extreme it's almost hard to believe. Where temperatures can reach up to 1,100 degrees Celsius and pressures exceed 50,000 atmospheres. Under these extreme conditions, carbon atoms, one of the most common and basic elements on Earth, are compressed so intensely that their molecular structure rearranges completely forming the strong and stable crystal lattice we know as diamond. However, this unique combination of conditions is extremely rare. If even one factor is missing, just a slight drop in pressure or temperature, the carbon doesn't become diamond, but instead turns into graphite, the soft material found in pencil cores. Because of this rare formation process, diamonds only exist in the deepest, most stable and ancient regions of the Earth's mantle. After spending millions of years buried underground, a small number of these diamonds are pushed closer to the surface through ancient volcanic eruptions. They travel upward through vertical magma channels and eventually become trapped in a special type of rock called kimberlite. That's where humans begin their search. Uncovering stones that were formed between one and three billion years ago, now lying hidden beneath the earth, waiting to be discovered. The journey of bringing diamonds from deep within the earth to the surface begins with exploration. To locate potential mining sites, geologists rely on a combination of advanced data sources. Satellite imagery helps spot unusual surface patterns from above, gravity sensors detect shifts in underground density, and magnetometers identify magnetic anomalies that may signal the presence of deep rock formations. Sometimes, even a tiny fragment of kimberlite a volcanic rock known to host diamonds, mixed into surface gravel, is enough to justify an in-depth survey of an entire area. At major open pit mining sites, massive spiral-shaped excavations are carved into the earth, some more than a kilometer wide and nearly 500 meters deep. Before each blasting cycle, dozens of high-powered drills bore deep into the rock to insert explosives. 
Once detonated, the shattered rock is loaded into ultra-heavy dump trucks and hauled to the surface for processing. In areas where diamond deposits lie deeper or the terrain is too difficult for open pit operations, underground mining is used instead. Here, workers descend into narrow tunnels stretching as far as 700 to 800 meters below ground, where conditions are hot, humid, poorly lit, and require strict safety measures. All of this effort, from data analysis to deep earth excavation, is in pursuit of just a few tiny gems. On average, around 250 tons of rock must be processed to yield a single carat of diamond, barely larger than the tip of a pencil. Right after the explosives are detonated and massive rock chunks are brought up from underground, those believed to contain diamonds are sent straight to the crushing system, marking the first step in extracting one of the planet's most valuable minerals. Here, giant crushing machines, each weighing tens of tons, operate like powerful steel jaws capable of pulverizing even granite, one of the hardest natural rocks. However, despite their extreme hardness, diamonds are incredibly brittle. A single poorly directed impact can shatter a diamond into tiny fragments, stripping it of all commercial and aesthetic value. For this reason, the crushing force must be carefully calibrated, strong enough to break the surrounding rock, yet gentle enough to preserve the diamond crystals inside. In many modern mines, this process is divided into multiple stages, starting with slow compression using heavy rollers, followed by rolling crushers, and finishing with vibrating separation. Each stage is fine-tuned to ensure efficiency without risking damage to the precious stones hidden within. After the crushing stage, all the fragmented rock moves on to the cleaning phase. This step is essential because the blasted and crushed material is often mixed with large amounts of clay, mud, fine dust, and naturally occurring sticky substances. If not thoroughly removed, these contaminants can clog the machinery, wear down equipment, and interfere with the performance of modern separation systems. To tackle this, industrial-scale washing machines are used, including large rotating drums, multi-level vibrating screens, and high-pressure water jets. The entire mass of material is fed into a swirling water stream, which scrubs off external grime while simultaneously screening out particles that are too small. Any fragments under one millimeter in size are filtered out at this stage, as the likelihood of them containing diamonds is extremely low compared to the cost of processing them further. Once cleaned, the remaining material is carefully sorted by size to create what's called a concentrated ore, a collection of rock pieces that are more likely to contain diamond crystals. This is where cutting-edge separation technology comes into play. X-ray fluorescence scanners examine each stream of material in real time, identifying the unique glow emitted by diamonds when exposed to X-rays. As soon as a diamond is detected, the system triggers a targeted burst compressed air, blowing the gem out of the flow in less than a second. This method allows diamonds to be separated with incredible speed and precision, minimizing waste and ensuring that even the smallest valuable stones are recovered efficiently. Once separated from the surrounding rock, rough diamonds enter the preliminary sorting phase, the first step in determining the value of each individual stone. Experts assess the diamonds based on several key criteria, size, color, clarity, and natural shape. While modern 3D scanners and optical tools assist in this process, much of the evaluation still depends on the trained eyes and experience of skilled craftsmen those who can detect microscopic cracks or subtle color variations that machines might miss. This stage divides the diamonds into two main categories. The first group includes high-quality stones that meet the standards for luxury jewelry production. These diamonds are clear, well-shaped, and large enough to be cut into desirable pieces. The second group consists of smaller, misshapen, or heavily included stones typically destined for industrial use in products like drill bits, cutting tools, or high-performance components that require extreme hardness. For the diamonds with commercial potential, the journey doesn't stop here. They undergo a more detailed evaluation, where specialists analyze their structure and flaws to plan the most efficient and profitable way to cut them. 
the goal is to maximize both the economic value and visual appeal of each stone. Turning a rough crystal into a polished gem that captivates with brilliance and symmetry. Each diamond is completely unique. No two stones are ever exactly the same. That's why, before any cutting begins, experts perform a full 3D scan of the rough diamond to analyze its shape, internal flaws, clarity, and how it reflects light. This data is then fed into specialized software, which calculates the most efficient and valuable cutting options. Some diamonds are divided into multiple smaller stones to maximize profit, especially if internal flaws make a single large gem less viable. Others, particularly rare or unusually clear diamonds, may be left intact to create a one-of-a-kind piece. Every decision in this stage is made with one ultimate goal, to unlock the full potential of the diamond by balancing brilliance, symmetry, color, and weight. The aim is to produce a final stone that sparkles intensely, displays optimal color, and retains as much mass as possible, all while enhancing the natural beauty that took billions of years to form. Once the evaluation and planning stages are complete, the rough diamond moves on to one of the most crucial steps, cutting and polishing. The process begins with a preliminary cut, typically performed using a high-powered laser. With precision down to thousandths of a millimeter, the laser slices the stone along its weakest structural points, allowing it to be reshaped or divided without causing unwanted cracks or fractures. Next comes the grinding and polishing phase. Skilled artisans use slowly rotating polishing wheels coated with diamond dust, because only diamond is hard enough to shape itself. Throughout the process, the cutter must carefully adjust pressure, contact angles, and rotation speed to ensure each facet is crafted to the most precise proportions possible. This entire process can take anywhere from three to eight weeks, depending on the diamond's size, complexity, and the desired quality standards. The final result is a stone with flawless geometry and brilliantly cut facets, designed to reflect light with maximum intensity, creating the dazzling sparkle that gives diamonds their timeless appeal. After being carefully cut and polished, the diamond is sent to a grading laboratory for comprehensive inspection. At this stage, the stone is evaluated on multiple criteria, including color, clarity, carat weight, and even the tiniest internal imperfections. Each detail is examined under specialized microscopes, ensuring nothing is overlooked. If the diamond meets quality standards, it receives a microscopic laser inscription, a unique identification number engraved along its girdle, invisible to the naked eye. This ensures full transparency and traceability throughout its lifetime. Finally, trusted institutions such as the GIA, Gemological Institute of America, or IGI, International Gemological Institute, issue an official certificate. This document outlines all of the stone's technical specifications and grading results. In essence, it acts as the diamond's passport, verifying its quality and authenticity on the international market. Once certified, the approved diamond continues its journey into the jewelry workshop. Depending on the design, the stone may become part of a ring, necklace, pair of earrings, or even a display piece. High-end brands like Cartier, Tiffany & Co., and Harry Winston demand not only flawless diamonds, but also exceptional craftsmanship in every detail of the setting, whether it involves gold, platinum, or carefully blended alloys. Each finished piece of jewelry is a fusion of nature and human artistry, combining a gemstone formed billions of years ago with the precision and creativity of modern craftsmanship. The result is a timeless object of beauty, where the brilliance of the diamond is enhanced by the elegance of its setting, creating something meant to be treasured for generations. Although diamonds are often seen as symbols of purity and eternity, not every stone carries a spotless origin. In many impoverished regions of Africa, especially Sierra Leone, the Central African Republic, and Angola, diamonds are still extracted entirely by hand, in muddy streams under the scorching sun, and without any protective equipment. Miners can be anyone, adults or children, because for many families, even the smallest gem holds the hope of a few meals. 
But the harsh reality is that a diamond sold for tens of thousands of dollars may leave its digger with nothing more than calloused hands, or worse, nothing at all except hardship. The problem doesn't stop at poverty. In some regions, armed groups control diamond mines, using the profits from diamond sales to fund wars, weapons, and violent conflicts. Diamonds from these areas are known as blood diamonds because they are traded at the cost of human blood, sweat, and tears. A stone so dazzling, yet not always innocent. Diamonds are more than just precious minerals. They are the result of time, immense natural pressure, and relentless human effort. Yet behind their radiant beauty lie stories that shouldn't be overlooked. By understanding the journey and true value of a diamond, we not only learn to appreciate it more deeply, but also become more mindful in the choices we make. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on more fascinating journeys behind everyday objects that are far more extraordinary than they seem. See you in the next video.